afternoon. I'm Travis Harmon Smith, television sports reporter for NWTV Channel 7. Today I'm going to show you four easy tips that you can use to edit video, whether it's for a television news story package or perhaps a personal video shoot with your friends and family. Let's take a look. The most important element to remember before you start the video editing process is to remove your SD card from the video camera you use to catch footage with and place it in an area where you'll remember it. SD cards are so small they can vanish at any moment and if you lose your SD card all your video footage is gone so make sure you keep it in a secure place. I prefer keeping it in your camera bag just to stay organized. Now that we've established a safe place to keep your SD card I'll show you how to log video footage on your computer. Logging video from the footage you capture with your camera is sometimes difficult when it comes to identifying what each video file contains. When you log your video, you take your SD card out and insert it into your computer and wait for your video files to pop up, like so. Now as a sports reporter, what I do is I go back and I watch all my footage shots that I capture from my story and I make a new folder and rename all the video files specifically so I know what highlight footage shots I need for the narrative part of my television news package, as you can see. After you finish logging the video files that you need, it is now time to open video editing software, Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro is my favorite video editing software to use. However, there is other video editing softwares out there on the market that are available, but for starters, we're going to focus with Premiere Pro. Now that you've logged your video, it is now time to edit. Editing can be fun, but very time consuming. Now that we've opened Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to go down to our video files that we've imported, which is in the lower left hand corner in what is called the project screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on one of the video files in which I've already done. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these two tools located at the bottom of your source screen and we're going to do what's called a mark in. We're going to mark in the first part of the video that we want to start with and then we're going to play it. And since I only want this little portion of this interview that essentially I got with head football coach Matt Walter, I would want to mark out just this. And what we do is we just click on the source screen and we drag this portion of the video to our sequence and we drop it. And I've been editing video for about four years and the one aspect that I like about video is putting in effects and transitions to enhance the video quality. I usually do my effects last after I've put all of my video files into my sequence that I will use. We will now put our effects in using this menu down here. You have what's called an effects tab, which is the fourth tab located in the project bar in the lower left hand corner of the Premiere screen. And what you want to do is, you want to go down here and there's different effects that you can choose from. I usually go to video effects and video transitions, but we're going to go to video transitions right here. And we're going to go to this additive dissolve transition. I'm going to put this one in, see how that looks in about a second. We're going to put a cross dissolve right here. And if you've followed all the steps that I've told you, after you put your effects in, your finished product will look like this. Ranger football welcomed the Reddies of Henderson State for the second home game of the season, which pretty much turned into a defensive showdown. Let's not go too far just yet as we begin the first quarter. Northwestern kicks off to Henderson State to open the game as Corey Campbell of the Reddies just flies down the sideline, returning it for 100 yards to the pylon, giving Henderson State an early 7-0 lead with an extra point. Well, that's all I have today for video editing. For NWTV Channel 7, I'm Travis Harmon Smith.